before you like leave, I need you to open this for me. What's up, you guys? I look tired. We were gonna do a. I was gonna, but. Hey y'all. Um. Want some heat? Trying to get a jar of pigment open. One second. This is fun stuff. So, um, hi, welcome. I'm Erica. This is Jeff. We're artists till death. We go live every day. It's usually at 6 p.m. Central. Today I'm tardy for the party. Sorry about that. Um, except for on Tuesday, it's at 2 p.m. Central. And it's usually resin art, but oh, sometimes wow. it's not. That is like... I may have to use a different accent oh, color. Yeah. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's alcohol ink. Sometimes it's acrylic. Sometimes it's airbrush. You never know. But today it is going to be resin. yet please do so. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get notifications sometimes. YouTube is a uh, fickle, finicky, one of those words right, about sending notifications and uh, it's just on there. Maybe I need to put more heat on it. And so welcome. Today we're going to be going over the difference between a top cell and a base cell. Hey, so I get asked this question all of the time, all of the time. And I don't mind answering it. I'll answer any questions you guys have ever. Please never hesitate to ask. But so sometimes when I get asked uh, the same question multiple, multiple, multiple times, I like to do a video just to give a visual answer to the questions that I get. <clears throat> when you're done, will you put him up there? Did you get it? Nope. No, I'm trying to. heat? Hold on, Bowie. Come here. One, two, three. We all know about that. Ma! That's a fun noise. Well, I hope you get better soon. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Where are those? Watch the wave on Stone Coat. It was an awesome piece you did in Hawaii. Thank you. I was very proud of that piece. I wasn't sure how it would turn out because he did not have the heat attachments for the heat gun that I usually use. And so we had to settle on a leaf blower. If you guys haven't seen it, it's a hot mess success. B, can I have a shirt made that says hot mess success if you do that whatever hustle? Hot mess success. Thanks. Anyways, hey everybody. Try putting it with a dry vinyl glove. I, well, got, I don't think we that have these. I thought you had these things like this that like. That's supposed to give you some grip. Yeah, oh, this is like. I guess not if it's epoxy glued together. Ah, I Ooh, am mad. He gains, gains it open. I can't remember which one of y'all sent me these, but thank you. It worked. It works. Right. Get it. Oh my god. If that would have just like opened, like the window opened for real, I would have been sad. Hello, all. Hey, hi, Hawaii. Um, if you haven't shared some of our videos with your friends, families, foes, whatever, whoever, Facebook groups, please, please, can you just do one? Can you hot share one? Hot mess success. Yeah, hot mess success. Because that's, in essence, kind of my life. I wing it on multiple levels every day. I think you have to have some kind of wingedness in life. 
right? Because sometimes life throws you a curveball and you just gotta wing it. You can't know everything all the time, right? Right? Anyways, enough of my TED talk. Let's get into the artworks. Do the intro! <laughs> Was awesome. Dustin Duart at the same time. Dustin Duart is another something fun. B, will you make Hot Mess Success on one of my sweatshirts? Yeah. Thanks. Having somebody that can make custom tees, because I like logo tees, is amazing. One of my favorite things. Well, thank you, Kathy Carr. It's just that I think this is very snotty, so it's like, Leah I'll do it when I do it. <laughs> I wasn't saying thanks to you. Oh, you weren't saying thanks to me? No. Not in that tone. No, I said, I can't. I said, yes, I will. And you go, ding. Like, well, I was, I guess your I music say. was too loud because I was saying thanks to someone that said something on chat. Mmm. Hot mess success with PBO guy, right? Hi, Anna's Creations. See, Anna Kate, how are you doing? We have missed you. Your babies are amazing. By the way, love each and every one of them. I could do a shirt, right? Okie dokie. I have successfully mixed my resin also. I need to change this around, I feel like, I believe. Yeah, hold on. I feel like I need to copyright hot mess success. Because that is a very relatable term. Right? Term phrase. You know what I mean. Words are hard. Okay, so let's get started with the tutorial. Now, I have prepped one of our braille boards that I have used in the past. Sometimes I just have to paint over it and start again. I'm not above Ow. epoxy fails. Also, jet down. Um, I'm going to do Betty a, a comparison tutorial on the difference between a top cell and a base cell epoxy pigment paste. And it's apparently difficult to kind of get down the difference. So I just wanted to break it down in this video for you guys. And if you have a question about it while I'm going, by all means ask. I'm here to help always. PBO hoodies, um, I think just in the works on designing those. What? PBO hoodies. I can't hear you. PBO hoodies. Oh. Yeah. So, first step is mixing our color into the resin. One day I'll have some stir sticks made just for me. Right, everybody stay healthy till at least the end of May. Do you ever do comparison on clear substrate to show the other side as well? I haven't, cats, but I will. I'm also going to be doing um, a review on your pigments soon. Hold tight. I haven't forgotten. So I'm going to use some titanium white for my top cell. It is very similar to, well, this is from Just Resin. It's very similar to Lares Angel White, to Color Obsession Snow White. This is a very true white color. 
obviously is titanium based. Um, a paste mix in. I'll do a difference between a paste and a powder at some juncture. Oh, I'm sorry, Bowie. Hold on. Apparently, my son wants to get down right after I get off the heat. Ready up. Oh, it's a big boy. Okay. So, yeah. So, we got JR Titanium for our top cell. We've got Color Passion Base White for our bottom cell. I said bottom white or bottom cell. I don't know what I said. But it's a base cell. It goes on the bottom of the other colors. Is this top cell or base cell? Is this what? Do I have a favorite of top cells? What's up, Pamela Kelly? What's for dinner? Y'all, my resin is so cold, it's very thick. So, my favorite white depends on what I'm doing. Generally, I'll use low res angel white or just resin titanium white for my top cells. Uh, in terms of base cell, there's only one. It's color fashion. Which pigment would you recommend as a must-have? I have so many must-have pigments. So many. It would depend on the color. So if you give me a color, I can, or a shade, or a range, I can tell you what of that I would consider a must-have. That sounds delicious. I'm using Color Obsession Dark Turquoise as my control. It will act as the other color that will be in my demonstration. This color is essentially, it's a, it's a deep translucent. I don't know if that makes sense. It can be, trans well I guess everything can be translucent, but this is one of my favorite colors. This is one of my must have colors. And once I put it on the board, you will see why. You can kind of see the color on the edge here. Isn't that beautiful? Hi, Darla. <coughs> Woo. Uh, a must-have white would be just resin titanium, and a must-have blue would be Bondi. Alrighty. Oh my goodness. Okay. Before I get fully confused. I need to mark these. This is the second one I did, so it's going to be the base. The first one is going to be the top. Okay. I'm so bad about getting those mixed up. Uh, bless you, B. Uh, thank you. Okay. So I'm going to do half as a base cell and half as a top cell. Cool. I guess I can go ahead and put this on the majority of the surface. So on this side, I'm going to have the base cell. Nope. This side, I'm going to have top cell. In fact, I'm just going to put this all over so I don't confuse myself. Um, don't ever feel like you're not with it if if you get confused with resin pigments. It can be confusing. I work with resin literally every day and I still get confused from time to time, so don't ever feel bad. Also, don't hesitate to ask questions. We're all here to help whenever we can. Look how pretty that color is. I'm just gonna thin it out in some areas so you can see. I love it. Hey guys, hey, hi, how are you? All right, hey. Now that we have this base prepped beautifully, this could finish, nope, this could be a finish all on its own, but I'm going to take this demonstration to the next step. 
If you guys ever watched Ronda Trakulis at Arcade 3, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Also, we love her. That rat is spent. Did you guys hear that? What that Oh, someone honk, honking their way through an intersection, but I always feel like if someone honks that long, there should be a. I don't want. I don't wish wrecks on anybody, but I just listen for it after that sound. Uh, titanium from Just Resin would be closest to Artist of White in my opinion. At Mac, I am making. A demonstration tonight. So this is Color Obsession Dark Turquoise. It is one of my must-haves easily. So which is better? Please hold for a commercial break. Which you guys like better? I like the white bill. But they're flipped if you can no. Yeah, I like what you asked which one. Sorry for interrupting, I just... It's okay, I said please pause for a commercial break. White bill, black bill. They look like old school, like old, uh... That's so crazy, it looks like there's something in the... I know, but it's just it's the, the, <laughs> the fixtures and the light above it. Uh... Judy! Most everybody loves the white bill. Yeah. I like it because, I mean, it has that outline. Yeah. It makes it stand out. More and more and more white bills. Tink, everybody. It's not a rose. I, um, I cut my red wine with white wine, or else I end up with like. A wine stash. Anyways, so let's get on with it. Also, shout out to Clara for the onesie. But she's not even in here. She got a green baby at home. I understand. Okay, first one I'm going to tell you about is Top Cell. It's been around longer than a base cell. Top Cell, like Just Resin Titanium, Snow White from Color Obsession, Lorez Angel White, Cast and Crafts, System 3, Illumilite, Mermaid Trash, Color Berry White, all of those are Top Cell. That means that they need to be on top of the other colors to create cells. And the cells will be the color of the Top Cell paste. All of what I just said is accurate. I hope you guys are following. I can say it again later if you guys need me to recap that, okay? So, on the top cell piece, it has to be on top. So I'm gonna put it on top of the blue that we have down. Did you want that for Maybe a different angle so that that ceiling fan's out in the way. You're good or you going down? So, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of heat because my resin's cold. I'm going to swipe it on top of the dark turquoise. The dark turquoise is just a color. It is not making anything happen. It's just a color. If you guys don't know about my swipe technique, I have a thousand videos about it. Short version is I'm going to let some of the color soak up. I'm going to take my time swiping down. If you go too fast, it'll skip like that, and that's not cute. There we go. Now I can hit it with some heat. And the cells will start to come up on the top of the other colors. These cells tend to be smaller than the base cell cells.
but they are fine nonetheless. They will continue to grow as we go on in this video. You can swipe. The swipe method usually works best with a base cell, so I'm gonna hit it with some heat and make magic happen this way. Because a lot of times, top cells like to have heat. They want to be thinned out of it in order to work the best. Which is very unlike a base cell, but I will get into that in a moment. Alright, those cells are going to grow and do what they're going to do while I'm doing this second part, which is going to be the base cell. Any questions on the top cell thus far? Is she using donut glaze? I would love to use donut glaze. Also, what's up, Noelle? I was wondering about Claire. I was telling them that that's where I got my this. It's pretty just like that. I know, I would. Sorry, it's giving you a heartbeat. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. Do you guys have any questions before I move on? It's not going to work right now, so I'm just going to have to work with it as I go. Thank you, Clara. I got them from Clara. Okay, so no questions? What's the difference between heating with a heat gun and a torch? So a torch is gonna give you fire. So that's gonna pop your bubbles and create movement only where the heat and the residual heat hit, right? A heat gun is going to blow heat, so it's gonna give you movement. For example, this ripple look would not have been possible if, give up. It wouldn't have been possible with the torch. It's just not going to give you any movement, so to speak. Is this going to focus for me? No? Cool. But you guys can see the cells popping up, popping up in these little bits. It'll just be like regular font like that. So, um, let me regroup real quick. Hat. You want a black and white hat like that? Or you want a black hat? This is harder to weed. Jeff is um, making a hat sale, so See all those little teeny tiny baby cells and the, there are more cells where it's thinner? So that's a top cell trait. Where it's thinner, it's going to have more cells. It just is. So if I were to hit it with a torch, I can thin out just a certain area and create cells just there. It's not going to focus for me, but I'll do it again. So, I'm 
gonna give you guys a look at what it is like if I just heat certain areas. See where it's moving? That's where I'm hitting it with the heat. So I'm thinning just that area, and so the cells are gonna pop up just there. See? But there's no movement except for the dispersion from the heat because the cells are thinner there. So essentially, if you want heat but no push of air to create that movement, then you would want to use a torch. But if you wanted to create movement from the air of the torch blowing, kind of like a blow dryer, then you want to use a heat gun to get, for example, the ripples that I have in this piece. Hi, Tiffany. I am using tonight Dark Turquoise from Colored Session. Just resin titanium for the top. And then now I'm going to give you an example of a base cell, and that's going to be Color Passion Base Cell White. No worries, TG. Love you. So, let me stop the heartbeat real quick. Well, bud, can we get down? Can we get down? No? Okay. Now, let me get Bowie down. He's breathing heavy. Come on. Bowie, you know how to get down. Come on. Up. Up. Bowie, I can't get you sticky, bud. the base. I'm going to take a sippy with you guys before we go into this one. Any more questions on top cell yet? Or a leaf blower, right? I don't hail repair. All right, base cell. Y'all ready? This is base cell from Color Passion. Color Passion, all of their pastes, hear me clearly, all of their pastes work as a base cell. This means that if you put this paste under other colors, it will give you cells. The cell color will be whatever color is on top of the base cell. I'm using white just for demonstration. My cells will not be white. They will be whatever color I put on top of it. In this case, that color is Color Obsession Dark Turquoise. So when I swipe the Color Obsession Dark Turquoise over the base cell white from Color Passion, I should get Dark Turquoise cells. These cells will be bigger. They do not like heat. So I often swipe to get my cells instead of torch and tilt or using a whole bunch of heat from a heat gun. So. Thank you, Evelyn. I got them from Clara. Here we go. I'm actually gonna do it this way because I swiped and tilted down this way. So a lot of my color is on this side. Now. I'm going to take my swiping paper. No, I'm not. I'm going to heat it first because it's cold here. I'm not trying to create movements. I'm not concerned about bubbles right now. I'm just thinning my resin slightly because it's cold. Cold resin doesn't like to move very easy, and so for swiping, it's not conducive. So I'm going to swipe just like I did over here. take my time. Uh, I'm going to take my time messing up because this is a base cell. So I messed up by putting my swipe paper in the white. It should not be in the white because it has to be the base. It has to be the basement of the house, the very bottom level. So 
I have to put my swiping paper in the dark turquoise. See, even people that do this all the time mess up. All right, so I'm swiping my dark turquoise over my base cell white. Again, taking my time so I can pick up and redistribute everything that I'm getting. I've ordered some of the New Year's sale gone out already. Uh, for the most part, they have, uh, Lisa. Right, Emma Kate? Conducive is one of my favorite words. So, as you can see already, some cells are already popping up here and through where it's thinner, right here. I'm just gonna use the torch to put a little bit of heat on. And so this in the resin world would be considered a cell activator because it makes cells fairly easily. Now these cells should end up being larger. Should end up being larger than the top cell. These cells will grow to the size of their environment. A fish, like, kind of like a goldfish. Let me try to focus this in. So I did hit it with a little bit of heat right after I swiped it, but I haven't really hit it with any heat since then, and it's still doing cells. I haven't really tilted it. I'm just holding it up to the camera. These cells are more like lacing. If someone wants cells in a piece, unless it's an ocean, I recommend a base cell. It's easier. You don't have to worry about too much heat. You don't have to worry about scorching your resin, which is a pain, unless it's an ocean, because all base cells will be opaque. In my oceans, I keep translucent. As you can see, they're still growing. They're still doing things, and they'll continue to do that until the resin starts to set. How long that is depends on your resin, how much heat you added, and how hot or cold it is in your environment. Even all the way down this way, where it's thinner, cells are populating under that dark turquoise. Notice I used a white base cell, but my cell structure is the dark turquoise color. That's, that's a question I get often about the differences. Now you can, um, you can use a heat gun, you can use a torch. I'll go ahead and torch this. Nope, I'm gonna use a heat gun like I did the other one to get the ripples. How do the cells look doing dirty pour or flip clip? Do they pop through multiple layers using lots of base cell colors? That is a great question. I don't typically recommend using a base cell. I don't recommend using resin to do a dirty pour or a flip cup just because resin colors are going to try to mingle a bit too much in the like the, the flip cup or the dirty pour cup. But if you have like a split cup, absolutely go for it. You'll have more success that way than if you just put all the colors into the same cup. Also, don't use a lot of different base cell colors expecting to get a lot of crazy dimensional cells because 
If you have oil on top of oil, it's just going to be there. If you have water on top of oil, it will uh, have a reaction. So the same goes with base, cell, paste, or tints. Have one. Maybe two if you have five colors. Because... It's just, if you have a dispersion agent with a dispersion agent, they're just going to fight each other and nothing's going to happen. As opposed to if you have one that isn't and one that is, then you'll get the reaction. Um, so, yeah. How do metallics affect a base or top cell? I don't think they do. Powders, like micas, can affect it more because they typically don't have uh, the ability to stick together because it uh, ultimately is just a very fine particle suspended in resin. That's why you can wake up your micas, as Rhonda calls it. So they don't have as good of a cell reaction with a base cell, but it's not to say it's impossible. I've definitely got gotten cells with them before. So I added all that heat, and you can tell there's some cells still there, but because of the heat, the cells just can't hold on to their structure, I guess. They're just going to bloom because the heat is thinning the resin until they break, essentially. So they're not gone, and it still looks very fun and unique. It's just not going to give you the same look, really. But if that happens to you, just, I'm just going to swipe back over it. See if I can get those cells back. What other classification of paste besides base? There's base and top. Yeah. I know it's backwards. It has to be backwards to cut out. Oh, awesome, Heather. She says or she has great love with micas and base still paste. Would it be better it to work with so older time resin? I'm not a fan of that. Often, not, the answer is not yes. Not so many letters. I like this one. Um, the more you let your resin kind of set up, the thicker it'll be, and so. How do I say this? It makes sense in my head, and then when I start to say it, blah, 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 is all that comes out of my face. So, when your resin is older, as in you mix it and let it set for a minute, side note, don't do that with a big bulk of resin because it'll set off and it'll be awesome. Okay, Bowie. Um, also, I lost my train of thought, but just be careful if you mix a bunch of resin and let it set aside. Try to pour it into your color cups and let it set up to thicken that way so that you don't end up with a big doorstop of resin. Um, so yeah, letting your resin kind of get old or thicken or cure a bit in the cup can help because the fresher your resin is, the more fluid it is. And the more fluid your resin is, the more likely it is that your cells will continue to move as the resin settles and then break apart. So if you want the rigidity of your cell structure, you need to not use a lot of heat so that your resin doesn't move so much and have resin that is on a thicker consistency, which is great for pores like today where my resin's thicker because it's cold anyways. I'm adding a bit of more heat than I would normally just to try to get those cells to come back. I got some of them back and as my resin settles, more will come back. 
and they'll also grow as it settles. Note again, my base cell cells are not white, even though I use a white base cell. My top cell cells are white because I use a top cell that was white. Okay. Do you guys have any questions? I missed, I missed some while I was uh, resin explaining. If there are no more questions, I'm gonna make this into a piece. But I will continue to demo in the meantime. I'm gonna make Vampa shirt that says Vamp down. Thank you, Clara. Awesome. What's up, Mattify? We're, we're happy to see you. Where you been? How's the fam? No worries, Evelyn. I'm here to answer questions for sure. Side note, how cool is the depth created by this translucent dark turquoise from Color Obsession and the base cell. I love it. I would do a whole piece that's just bits of depth. Also, this would be great for an Aurora Borealis. Use translucence with white to get that look. I'll do a demo. My pleasure, Anna, anytime. So is everybody good? I'm gonna go ahead and move on. You know, dark turquoise is one of my favorites of all time too. Now this topic always has tons of questions, which is fine. That's what we, you know, that's what I do it for. I'm going to try to extend this white wave of the top cell down over the base cell by hitting with a bunch of heat. Not so much the heat down here, mainly up here where the white is. I'm trying to thin that out and get it to roll over my base cell. In a second, because I just hit my concentrator nozzle into the resin. I'm burning resin and not the smell. I don't know why I didn't lift this up earlier, but I didn't. Also, also, not all base cells and top cells are white. If you have the right um, combination of colors, you can get cells with almost any color that I carry. What are you eating, Bowie? Is that for Bowie? You know it's not for Bowie when he walks away and chew it. You know, why is that all you're doing this, Bowie? Where the hell are my scissors go? Now that I've moved the resin around a bit, I'm going to get some cells with just using the torch. Just gradually hitting spots that didn't do much before. I call this technique a torch and tilt because I have my board tilted at maybe 50 degrees. That is a very rough estimate because I don't do science or measurements or math. We got a couple of these boxes. They're going for like $15 on eBay and I got it for $3.50. 
think I really like how this looks just like this. Just have some depth over here. Maybe I'll swipe this up a bit. Oh, did you take my... Who would Bowie take my tweezers? How would Bowie get your tweezers? Because he's like, yo, give me your tweezers. I'm like, no. He's like, I need your tweezers. And then what? And then he took them. Oh, so then he, dropped, he like jumped up there and was like, got him anyways? Bye. Yeah. I literally just used it. Sounds and like something Bowie would do. <laughs> yep. Alright. So yeah. This is how we do it. Dig in this look. the cells fading off into the depth, the depthiness. Not bad for essentially a two color pour. I'm going to take this to the dust free zone. What do you think about my this? Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. I love that color. Star Turquoise, it's been your favorite since day one. Through all the days. Of one. <laughs> I know. She took my tweezers. Did you guys not hear me ask about where my tweezers were? She took them right here. Hi, baby. Give me a second, I'll help you find your tweezers. Well, I found them in your area. Oh, then. So, Bowie brought them over here? All oh, hands are in the air, waving from the air. Mm. Mm. Ever since I was a lowercase G, now I'm a big G. Hundred dollar bills, y'all. You guys know what's on the scene? How quick? First person to answer gets a small mystery box. BJ71, I haven't seen you in a while either. So many old time fans in here. Friday night. Did you get a tracking number, Sue? I mean, Betty? I need a tracking number for my. I'm pretty sure they just fell, but I didn't hear them fall. Oh, you guys know. Evelyn wins. Evelyn, shoot me a message. What? I had pop quiz. I was like, y'all know. First person to say what Jeff's singing um, gets small mystery box. What song? This is how we do it. Bye. I didn't ask him who by. I said what song. Mm -hmm. Small mystery box to who knows what that song is by. Who wrote and sang that song? That's Google. Everybody Googling. Everybody's not Googling. Bub up, so you want up and come say hi to all your um, adoring fans? Come here. Oh, this is going to drive me crazy. These are like brand new. Way to go, Susan Campbell. Send me a, a text as well. I'll send you a mystery box. So, you guys, I hope you enjoy that little comparison tutorial. It's not a tutorial. You know what I mean. Video. If you have any further questions about it, please comment down below or message me on the message forum on my website, artistaldeath.com, where you can find all the paste 
and the substrate that I used today. Shot from today's <laughs> mystery box, Evelyn. This is how we do it. But I was really close, so phenomena. Send me a message as well, and I'll send you a small mystery box too. Don't forget to message me because I will forget. As soon as this live feed is over, everything is gone in my brain. The best part is always Bowie. So, I'll send out those three mystery boxes, no problem, no stress. This is a no stress zone, positive vibes only. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and seeing what we're up to today. If you have any questions, please comment below or message me via text if you have my phone number. It's not the red phone anymore. We asked that because I can't keep up with two phones, to be quite honest. And so you can also message me via my website. There's like a message form. It also comes directly to my cell phone. And <laughs> I love his laugh. And um, you can check us out in all these other places. That is two days in a row that I have picked the right side. Usually I did this side for no reason, but today I chose this side, and I did it twice, and I got it right. Anyways, y'all are amazing, and I hope you had an awesome Friday. Be safe this weekend. We will be live tomorrow, probably early because uh, the Cowboys play tomorrow at some time, so I'll be scheduling it around there. So don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can know when we go live. I may give a doorbuster away tomorrow. I think so, so tune in tomorrow. You guys are amazing. Be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the test. So you don't have to! Is that too much? I don't think that was too much. You let me know. I'm still gonna do it, but let me know also. Love Anyways, you, you guys are amazing. Love you guys. Bowie says he loves you too. No, you bobo. I know it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I said bye. Cue the outro. <laughs> tiny Bowie and a tiny Bowie and a baby Bowie beans.